Hello, hello, this is Casual Ace Gaming. Welcome back to Pokemon Unbound. It's been a couple days since I last played. Didn't do too much, did a little bit of off screen work. Caught myself in brand new Bronzor. Happened to pick up a TM for Avalanche. Uh, physical move, not particularly useful because only my uh, what is it, Vanillish, Vanillite, one of those two Vanillish, it can learn it but it's a special attacker so it's not going to be super great uh, it does deal extra damage if I take turn in the same battle, so that would be nice but I'd rather keep my special moves to be honest, you're in my way I uh, ended the episode last time with these guys uh, I believe that Chungus had run into them or Whoever the other guy is that we're supposed to be following around. Uh, they ran into them, realized they couldn't leave the town. Uh, the little hint tells me I need to look around the town and try to find a way onto Route 9. Um, except that I've gone everywhere, including up here. Just to kind of get my bearings a little bit before I started recording. And I noticed... Wait for it. There we go. We're kind of blocked off. No one is allowed to go this way right now. Scram, kid. And they all say the same thing, but in different color text. Indicating one is a male and one is a female. Good old gender roles in Pokemon games. Uh, but I also happened to just step inside this building and found the way through. So, here we are. My mother suffers from horrible separation anxiety. So much so that when I moved away, she forced me to install a path between our houses. You're welcome to use it if you like. My mother lives on Route 9. Gee, ain't that convenient. Also, despite it being private property, some people have decided to cap out in our underground passageway and hold a contest daily. I'm pretty sure it's rigged though, since I've never heard of anyone without a super fast motorbike completing it. I don't have a motorbike, but I am interested in getting to Route 9. Looks like I don't have to actually Face him as a trainer, that's good to know. I'm guessing you just have to get all the way through without hitting traffic cones if you have a motorbike. That's my guess, anyway. Yeah, another ridiculously long path to get to the next area. Hi, I heard you're an abusive mother. I love my daughter very much. Yeah, that's the vibe I got from that. I can't stand not seeing her even for a single day. I would even commit terrible crimes for my daughter's sake. That's how much I love her. Please do not commit murder. Route 9 is an item. And it's a hyper potion, quite useful. Looks like we're kind of trapped in the woods, though. Oddle Woods. Item? There is. Netball. I believe it's got a times three capture rate or times 3.5 capture rate on bug and water types. Why? How'd you get past our barrier? I'm skilled. Also, secret passageways. They tend to help. Going for Golbat right off rip. Level 30. Uh, when I was capturing the Bronzor, I ended up replacing Brine with Bald Swipe. Made it a little bit easier to capture. But I tapped Brine back to Duat. Also, I misunderstood Brine. I thought it's when my HP is below half, I deal extra damage. But no, it's when my opponent's HP is below half. So, now it's boosted up to 130. Not that it really matters. Anything I do is probably going to knock you out anyway. Gotta level up for Litleo. Yeah, by level 35. Also, when Duat got to level 34, tried to learn Aqua Jet. I declined it. It is a priority move. I think it deals 40 damage. Uh, but my physical water type move, which Aqua Jet's also physical. I'm gonna switch. Um, sorry about that. My phone keeps getting lit up. I'm not that important. I don't know why people try to call me. It's probably spam. Anyway, 
Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> Uh, my physical move is uh, 75 power, I believe, and it has a chance to lower my opponent's defense. So I'd prefer to just keep that instead of getting priority move. I'm relatively fast as it is. Also, using Curse when you're on your last Pokemon is not a good idea. Shoot. Is that a command for that grandma? She's gonna commit crimes. Does she work for you guys? You're in for a real shocker, kid. I've just called back all the grunts sending guard at the barrier, so now we're all over this route. Jax, that was his name. Ace, so you found the hidden passage too, I see. But it looks like we'll have a ton of shadows to fight through just to get to my grandpa's friend. Actually, why don't we team up? We can move quicker that way. Yeah, I'll accept that. Great, the route's pretty big, so it looks like a two-trainer job. Why don't you take the lead? I'll support your Pokemon and keep them healed. That's the main reason why I want you to come with me. The first three viable Pokemon in your party will be selected for battle. Okay, beat the shadows to, Ar to Arthur's friend's house on Route 9. And save. Save the game. Let me make sure that the Pokemon I want to be up front are actually up front. Uh, pretty close. I think that's how I want to have it all set up here. Actually, let me... Switch Vanillas up front. That way I get some more experience. I believe Vanillas is only level 31 anyway. You, how did you even get in? Snuck in. Vanillas is trying to learn Uproar. 90 power, and it prevents sleep for two to five turns. Normal type move, not too bad, but it's not particularly great. Uh, I don't really think I want to learn it. I don't even get the same type of attack bonus, and it will never be super effective against anything. Also, preventing sleep only really is useful if you want to prevent rest, which I don't really see as useful. And you're taking down. And I see a little sparkly. It's like a 10%. Also, it's kind of interesting that these guys don't realize that there's a secret passageway considering it's a small forest and it's literally the only house in the forest. I mean, you didn't really do that good setting up a barrier, did you? Why do I work for the shadows? It's simple. Because no lady told me to commit crimes. There's quite a few trainers on this route. I wonder what Pokemon are actually available. Let's see. Not anything particularly interesting. I mean, Drapion can be useful, but... Eh... I prefer the Pokemon I already got. You know, I'm kind of tempted to turn off battle animations. The rain takes forever. Intimidate from your Star Raptor takes forever. A Wiki Berry. Also restore HP, cause confusion. You can see me from that far away? Okay, I was hoping I could avoid you. The Dark Force will use it to roll Boreas. Yeah, good luck with that. You can't even beat me. I don't think you're going to stand a chance against the actual decent trainers of the game. Anything up for the north? Is that where I just came from? I think that's where I came from. Right, can't talk to it from the side. Route 9, all the woods. Route 7, Frost Mountain to the north. Telltown to the south. I... Uh, where do I want to go? I'm just going to assume that we're supposed to go through this building. There might be other items. I didn't see any. What the? How'd you get on the Route 9? However it was, you're still not getting through here. But I... Then what's the point of standing there? I, I, okay. I think the trick is trying to figure out where Arthur's house even is. And then try to just beeline to it. Maybe I actually have to, like, follow the path led by the trainers here. I can avoid you by going in the grass. And I'm guessing I have to actually go through the grass here. Figures. I was keeping my eye on my little timer that shows how long I've been recording. Each battle, just running away, like spamming B as fast as I can and then pressing A the second it turns to run, it still takes 25 seconds per battle. Holy crap, that's ridiculous. Time to get a repel up. Between the rain and intimidate. And some Pokemon have abilities. Uh, 
I think one of the trainers I fought had an ability that negated Intimidate, so that also had to take a while to animate for whatever reason. Prepare to face the Wrath of the Shadows. I'm not even scared. Your Wrath included sending out a Rotata. Again, I'm not scared. Found a Revive. Quite useful. Looks like the path to the house is on the right. Thank you for panning the camera to show me because I don't know which way is right. Let's hurry that way before it's too late. Or I can continue south and see if there's any other items or trainers. Or a healing spot. Aha! So now if I think, for whatever reason, I can just come right back here. Trainer tip sign. Electric type Pokemon are immune to paralysis. That's good to know. Grass types are unaffected by powder and spore moves. Poison unaffected by poison, fire unaffected by burn, etc, etc. Route 9, all the woods. All the same information, so this will take me to the back side of the... Some sort of psychic barrier. Ah! So I can't even see the people that are blocking the path. Gotcha. Uh, I'll fight him for the experience. Why did we even come out here anyway? It's so wet, and the forest full of bugs. There's nothing here. That's it. I'm gonna do my job at dealing with intruders and beat you down, kid. Clearly, he's just here to give my Pokemon some levels and to help Lit Leo try to learn Sunny Day. Might be worth teaching. Powers of fire type moves for five turns, making it all bright and sunny. And if you happen to have a Pokemon that has Solar Beam, it can use that in one turn instead of having to charge first. Plus, moves like Synthesis uh, and Morning Sun, they all get like extra healing ability instead of restoring half your HP, it's restores two thirds. If I was to get rid of anything, it would be Work Up. Kind of prefer Work Up though, even though I've only used it like twice. <laughs> I'm going to stick with work up. And my Pokemon got a level up. So that means time to evolve. Duot evolves into Samurott. And is trying to learn Slash. Let's get rid of anything. Honestly, I don't want to get rid of any of these. Fury Cutter got a nice boost. I didn't really pay too much attention to this, but normally it has 10 power. And then, you know, it grows stronger on each successive hit. It doubles in strength each time you actually successfully hit your opponent. Um, I think there's like a cap of 120, so I can skip several uses of that and pretty much get that high power Fury Cutter really quickly. Maybe the cap has been raised in this, I don't know. Um, but I definitely don't want to get rid of Fury Cutter because that's pretty good move, especially against like Dark and Psychic types. Revenge is useful. And I'm holding a Black Belt, so it's even stronger than normal. I think I'm going to stick with my normal moves. By not learning a normal move. And it looks like we get two evolutions in one. Litleo evolves into Pyroar. And is trying to learn Sunny Day again. Yeah, because I'm totally going to learn it this time around. Taking a look at some stats here. Got a nice boost. I think I was at like 60s on my attack and special attack. Maybe low 70s. 90, 95 now. High Roar looking pretty good. Look at that special attack. That's actually on par with Samurott. Royal War. Knockouts boost special attack. That's really good, actually. 
especially considering I like using Pyroar because it's actually relatively strong. Uh, especially compared to the Pokemon I keep facing, they happen to be like grass types, uh, ice types too. Do I want to use another repel? Sure. Anywho, I got a couple of evolutions out of this. I'm fine with that. Let's go check out your grandpa, dude. Not like that. I crave the item. Hello. I'm Ivory's last line of defense. You may have been able to break onto the route, but you won't be able to break in break through me. Press X to doubt. I have two new evolutions. I don't think you really stand much of a chance, my friend. Gorgeist and Eradicates. Okay, here are a little more intimidating than the other guys. But I have a Samurott. Not that I'm going to use it. Doesn't seem like they have anything that's so strong that it would, like, instantly knock out Vanillas, but I've been wrong before. That was a critical hit. Apparently scratching my beard picks up on the mic. Sorry, I didn't notice that until just now. <laughs> Worry Seed. I now have Insomnia. Again, not really particularly useful outside of competitive gameplay where everybody likes to spam rest with the Chesto Berries. That's actually something that I like to do in the Battle Factory on Emerald, is have a Pokemon that has, like, Calm Mind and holding a Chesto Berry and also has Rest, so I can just spam Calm Mind, and when my HP gets low, I instantly heal back up and then just one-shot everything. Very useful. Don't have the ability to, ability to do that just yet in here, though. Eh, Water Pulse. Why not? Yeah, I wasn't gonna hit you anyway. Vanilla's just a little bit slow. So having Avalanche might be somewhat useful, because I would almost guarantee taking damage. But from my experience using Revenge, they tend to use stat moves first, so... Revenge is only good as like a second attack, I guess? It's getting way too close. Fine, I guess I'll just let Ivory deal with you kids yourself. Yeah, that's it. Looks like we made it. I'll go on ahead. Follow me inside quickly. Can I search the area first? Not that it's necessary, no items. You think I'm gonna let you walk out of here? You stole the prison stone, the very thing needed to seal and unseal the Dark Force. You couldn't possibly want it for anything except evil. I'm afraid, as always, you're quite mistaken, boy. But I'll humor you for a moment. What exactly do you think we have planned? Based on what you've seen of us, please enlighten me. What else? Capturing the legendary bird Pokemon, stealing the prison stone, you intend to plunge Boreas into war and darkness. Interesting. Then I ask you, why would we ever do that? Professional gaslighter, I see. Send our own region into chaos? What? Well, rule the world. Dark Force is an incredible power, and I knew it. You can only think of simple, immature motives. You think that the force we intend to release is only for destruction. In fact, our intent is to save. Save something that we unjustly lost, and would sacrifice much to regain. Huh? What are you talking about? I don't get what you're saying at all. I won't waste any more time explaining. The time can be better spent making sure you, and your friend, waiting by the door, are dealt with. Ace, hey, so you're right on time. I mean, I, I just sort of followed you inside. The shadows have the prison stone. The object needed to release the Dark Force. Yes, you just said that. Gotta help me get that thing back, I assume so. I should have known they wouldn't go quietly. You, grunt, assist me. Scientists, prepare the backup plan in case we're defeated. Right away. Well, I could be the mobile creation pods. I, I'm pretty sure that those are just Gabite, but all right. Please don't take this personally, but I have to escort both of you out. The hard way. Choose up the three Pokemon. Can do. Let's go with a brand new evolution, brand new evolution, and my starter. Just to make sure that you guys are down and stay down.
You know, the little preview on my OBS is showing kind of low frames. I'm hoping that's not showing up like that in the recording. I got perfect frames in the game itself, but my preview is a little stuttery. I'm concerned. It's not like I'm running out of space on my hard drive or anything. I still got like 100 gigs easy. Uh, you got Instant Aurora? Let's just go for Rage and Show against you. Really? Wait, Incineroar is another firefighting type? Holy crap. Isn't Incineroar the evolution of Pig Knight? I can't remember now. It's been so long since I've played Gen 5 that I can't even remember what's in Gen 5. I know Samurai's in that. But I haven't played Gen 6 or 7, so it's like I, I don't know the Pokemon types specifically, but it seems like every fire type seems to either be firefighting. I think there was like one fire psychic, and then there was obviously Charizard fire flying. Ooh, Alakazam. See, it's a good reason to have Fury Cutter. I was hoping you'd go for that last time, but yeah, I didn't know that Incineroar is part fighting. That's unoriginal in Nintendo. Okay, you can stop now. Thank you. Let's uh, heal up. Actually, a hyper potion might be useful. Magneton and Gastrodon. Interesting. Down goes Raptor. Probably gonna send out Magneton. Is my guess. I'm sure you wouldn't send out a water ground type against a grass type. That would be literally suicide. Oop, wrong button. And Fury Cutter again. Why would you go for side beam on a steel type? Another level up, I'll take it. Mirror shots. I roar getting level up. Mischievous. Now that's a Pokemon that's a pain to deal with in competitive gameplay. It can no perish song and mean look. Very brutal. Uh, however, Fury Cutter is actually... Oh, probably gonna... Okay, I was gonna say it was gonna take away at least half your health, but nope. To be fair, Mischievous has pretty decent defense. And I also think it has the ability to levitate, too, so you can't use any ground-type moves. I'm gonna stick with Fury Cutter. I'll use it on Eradicate. Ah, I got through Confusion. Oh, you're Dark-type. Confusion Rage is also kind of annoying. It's got 100 accuracy, unlike uh, Supersonic, which I think is like 55. So you have a chance to miss with Supersonic, but Confusory almost always will hit you. I... I was going to go for Razor Shell. I could probably one-shot you with Fury Cutter, but Razor Shell's fine enough. Curses. Scientists, activate the backup plan now. I'm sorry I failed you, ma'am. How's that? As long as I've got my Pokemon, I'm unstoppable. Yeah, I, I didn't have any hand in that whatsoever. Sure. No, we're unstoppable. Yeah, hey, you better mention me. Even though I'm pretty sure it's still not technically mentioning me, I'm pretty sure you're just talking about your own Pokemon still. Now, hand over the Prison Stone. No matter the numbers, we're not beaten yet, assuming they're ready. And they should be functional by now, I hope. Yes, ma'am. They're not as powerful as the ones we can synthesize in the lab. However, they should serve well enough as a distraction. 
What are those things? Don't tell me. That's the old couple? What'd you do to them? They've been optimized into something more fit for our purpose. And right now, their purpose is to hold you off as we retreat. Dang it, I don't want to let them get away, but we have to help those poor people. Help those poor people, not poor people. Maybe we're not too late. If we can beat them quickly enough, hopefully they'll go back to the way they were. And we got a battle yet again. Well, I'm going to stick with the same Pokemon I was just using. Even though that means Vanillas probably won't get any levels. Actually, yeah, let's bring in a Vanillas for this one. I can't remember when it evolves into Vanillux. I think it's like 36 or something. Might be... Now that I think about it, I think it's actually like in the 40s. While this Intimidate's going on, I'm going to look that up. Okay, I just looked that up, and holy crap, that's kind of ridiculous. Vanillux. It evolves from Vanillish, starting at level 47. Yeah, I got a while. I... I just started paying attention. I should have paid attention before. I'm actually fighting people now? What? They can apparently use Dragon Claw. So how come uh, Jax didn't heal me up before the last battle? Thought he was supposed to be my friend. That's fine, I'm still probably going to beat the guys anyway. In fact, I'm going to heal up just in case. I don't want them getting some stupid BS crit on me. Use your Aerial Ace. And you're probably going to do that again. And that should take care of the other warrior. Again, I... You think I would learn to switch over back to fight, but I'm also so used to the later generations where it automatically puts you back onto the fight menu. Oh, what did I, what was I doing? We did it. They're okay. Oh, thank you, Jax. My thanks to you too. Ace, was it? Any longer and our will would have been overwritten entirely. What matters is that you're safe now. Okay, I, I have questions. How in the actual hell does Gabite turn into some random cloak monster thing that can overwrite your will? Like, there, there's a lot of just... I, I don't know how to phrase this right. It, it just seems like there's just a bunch of made-up bullcrap that doesn't make any sense in this game. Don't get me wrong, the story is intriguing as hell. But there's a lot of laws with this. They got away with a prison stone. So they managed to escape with it. Jax, you must give chase. If they break the stone and use the bottle inside, and then the results would be catastrophic. I know. You know where they could be headed, Dr. Hearth? If they intend to release the seal on the stone, then they would be heading for the Ruins of Void. Only there can the bottle within be obtained. The Ruins of Void, he said. Ace, I'm heading back to brief Grandpa on what happened. While I'm doing that, you should head to Thundercat Mountain. As long as the shadows don't have Zapdos, there's still a chance to stop them. Oh yeah, since you need the HM move strength to navigate the mountain path, you should probably head back to the Falshore City and get the gym badge there. I think I last saw the gym leader back in Telltown, actually. Once you've done that and rescue Zapdos, I'll meet up with you in Epitome Town. Which I believe is to the east of Falshore. All healed up. And I believe I can just continue this way here. Hi, lady. Mystical Chance. Qua. You want Pokemon Learn Hex? Scree! One blue shard and one red shard, it be! Um, I have a blue shard. But no red shards. Item. Haha. Hex special attack. Good enough to sell. Repellent's effect wore off. I'm not really interested in that. So the gym leader's somewhere here in town? Uh, I guess I should just enter every building until I find them. Hi, one of Professor Log's aides. If your Pokedex has complete data on 30 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. I uh, no, but I'll say yes anyway. I've only caught 15 kinds of Pokemon. 
Did you get the dex now from Nat Log in Blizzard City? I I don't think I did. I actually don't know if I did. It's a very handy tool for finding new species of Pokemon. Maybe I did. It sounds familiar, but I don't actually know. Nothing really seems different with the Pokedex, and I don't have any other items, so maybe I didn't actually do anything there. I don't think they're in that house. That was the secret passageway. Hello, Beanie Man. Yo, yo, I'm the official name raider. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? Uh, no. Here, take these. Oh, okay. I, I won't say no. You are different. Phew, nothing beats getting away from the city life and coming back to Mother Nature. I mean, how else are you going to get a great natural tan like mine, huh? Good looks are things you got to put in effort to keep up, after all. Beauty is the most important virtue, am I right? Absolutely not. Partner, you didn't know what you're missing then. This place is perfect for my routine. Whenever I head back to the gym, the mist from the waterfalls com complements my well-toned bod. Want to feel? No. On natural pecs right here. Again, no. I'm gonna call the police. Oh, sorry. My name's Mel. Save it for the police report. I'm the gym leader. Sorry I wasn't in when you came knocking. I didn't even attempt to enter the gym, I don't think. <laughs> but, well, my workout waits for no one. It's a lot of pressure, but the gals back at the gym don't seem to mind. In a way, I'm just about done for the day, so if you want a battle, I've got time for it. See you soon, partner. Talking to various NPCs, uh, I think in the Pokemon Center, maybe in the Pokemon Mart, they were talking about how uh, he used to be dating another gym leader, and then the other gym leader moved away and left him the gym as a gift. Uh, and that now he's like surrounding himself with a bunch of women. It's like, that's actually kind of creepy for a kid's game, but okay. Luckily, it's not too far to fall short. Now to find the gym. Found it. Champ in the making. What? Why is there words in the music? Champ in the making, how go the battles? Welcome to the Falshore City Gym. Have some fresh water straight from the ponds. Yeah. He's already told me that they were splashing all over his chest. I don't want to drink his dirty chest water. Mel? Well, he's just a normal guy. If this were a normal, normal type gym, I'd say use fighting types would be a great way to take him down. But it isn't. In this gym, all battles are inverse battles. Okay, the music is actually legitimately annoying. All type matchups will be reversed, so can you guess what type would be best suited to take down Mel? There isn't one. Ghost types will be super effective against his normal types. When? But normal type moves will also be super effective against ghost types. Is that really how inverse battles work? Moves that are not effective whatsoever are super effective? Because that doesn't really make any sense. Shut up, voice. Your best bet to take down Mel is to use a Pokemon that knows ghost type moves but isn't one itself. If you need more practice getting used to this kind of battle, you should check out the inverse battle house in town. If you're ready to start, head down the slide next to me. Your goal is to use the Lapras to make your way back up here but make sure you've stocked up on supplies first. There's no going back until you reach Mel. I should probably top up my potions. So to call that battle music or gym music annoying would be a severe understatement. Maybe it's just me, but background music should never, ever have words to it, ever. So I turned off the music. As much as people I'm sure would hate the sound of my voice, I hate it too, but I'm going to have to deal with it for a little bit. Leader Mel, winning trainers Jackson Chungus. Looks like I literally just have to drop down the hole. I had no other option. Let's go. I'm guessing I'm going to hop across these. Aha. That's... Interesting. I don't know why there's a random dot on the bridge. 
I don't know if I have to fight any of these trainers. Nobody actually said that I did. Um, I guess I have to fight you if I want to continue. You don't have... Okay. I thought that that was just a normal sound effect when it played that ding -de ding sound, but I guess not. It is a little bit eerie to hear the sound effects without the music. <laughs> it's kind of minimalistic. I actually don't hate it. But it is definitely eerie. Really? What? Right. All battles, inverse battles. Hmm. This is going to be really confusing to get through. Water pool should be neutral. And one more. Really? Yeah, thanks for the crit. I totally needed that. Hey, level 36. I switched Pyro up front. Just because. Right on Lapras? Sure. I would agree. That would be a lot of fun. Bunny hopping on lily pads. This is a massive gym. And I don't think that this... Nope, I can't talk to you. Hmm, where do I go? Well, this is actually a confusing gym. I can't hop on those. Don't go chasing waterfalls. What's wrong with chasing waterfalls, though? They're pretty. Did you notice? One of the Lapras is in a different position than the rest. Uh, facing north. Facing north. I did not notice, but now you got me intrigued. Facing south. Okay, I, I did notice. I, I just don't know how to get to that thing. Wait. Um, there's two Lapras facing south. Took Lapras back down, just because maybe there's a spot I missed somewhere. I mean, I could just fight all the trainers and talk to them. I'm sure they'll tell me what to do. Have you noticed? The average beauty quotient of the gym is significantly higher than the national average. Like I said, the gym leader got all butt hurt because his girlfriend broke up with him, so now he surrounds himself with women. It has been scientifically proven that pe that looking at attractive people, as opposed to normal ones, excuse me, as somebody who's probably considered beneath a normal one, you're not wrong, but it's still offensive. It reduces stress. I think that's why Mel employs us. Yeah, that's why. I didn't take this route, so I'll take this one now. Maybe I shouldn't have. Once, this was a water type gym, but removing thousands of liters of water cost too much, so we kept it. I like the water aesthetic. It's a much prettier to look. It's much prettier to look at than a normal background. I'd assume that just that'd just be a plain white void for a normal type gym. I mean, the fifth gym in Cohen is a normal type gym. In fact, I think the first gym in Gen 5 is also normal types. I... I don't want to go that way. Go this way. Neither of those gyms are boring. Aha, so this is how we get around here. 
I can avoid you. Uh, that leads to nowhere, it looks like. Wait. There was a Pokemon hiding under the lily pad. The Pokemon attacked. The Pokemon was the lily pad. Lumbre dove back into the pond. I, I am going to heal up. Not that I was low HP from a Lombre, but the last trainer was kind of a pain. I, I think this is just a forced encounter with the trainer. Oh, I can go up here. Wait. Oh, you turned to see me. Gotcha. I'm Mel's personal secretary. I, there's a lot of connotation to this. In order to schedule a meeting with him, you must first defeat me in a battle. Simple enough. But considering I didn't actually have to fight you, I don't think I. it's necessary to fight you to have to schedule an appointment with what's-his-face. Takes a lot of time and effort to stand in front of waterfalls and wait for trainers. Mm-hmm. Right on Lapras. Wait. Oh. So you tell me I gotta go all the way back again. Oh, for the love of... Okay, back to hopping across lily pads, and now we can get over here. Riding on Lapras yet again. Will this actually take me to Mel? This... Don't think that's Mel. Before you go back down, please allow me to paint an elegant battle. I really prefer not to. I don't like these guys. Of course he's gonna send out Smeargle. Well, let's see what kind of bullshit moveset it has. Incinerate first. Thrash. Luckily, it won't do too much. Smeargle has weak attacks. Uh, attack and special attack. That's why I was getting so irritable with the la that one Smeargle having nasty plot. Because that just like forces its special attack really high. And then it uses special attacks to just one-shot your entire team. Samurai gets a nice level up. That special attack looking very nice. I'm trying to learn Encore. That's really not a good move. No move for Vanillas, though. Defeat a Monet. So, I... <laughs> what was the whole point of this, then? Other than literally a waste of time. See, this is what I'm talking about with this game. It's not even a challenge in these games. It's just tedious, unnecessary crap. I, I don't get the point of that. Okay, there's a boulder there now. I can't go that way. Okay, I... Uh... I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing at this point. I can't talk to Lapras anymore. Can I go around this side? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Please, for the love of God, just take me to the gym later. End my suffering. No, it's about damn time. Make sure there's no secret items or anything. Yeah, let's save. Why not? Howdy there, partner. Good to see you again so soon. I hope my humble abode is to your liking and all. If not, I'm sure there's something else around you can keep your eyes on. Of course. Also, I don't really care for the constant sexual innuendos either. That's I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, it's clear y'all... It's clear you went all over this here town and the next looking for little me. I'm just going to skip the text because trying to read this gar <laughs> this garbage speak is kind of annoying too. Let's just get this on. Let this handsome fellow test your metal. And he's shirtless. And he's an old man. I think. He's got white gray hair. I can't really tell. Hilly up tile. What? 
Okay. No, oh, I'm all out of PP. That's sad. Let's spam workout. Going for a headbutt. Ooh, that does more damage than I thought. Each stat increase increases your stat by a fraction over two. So now my attack should be double. I'm probably going to get knocked out, but I can hope for a flinch or a burn. Neither. That's fair. Uh, I got other Pokemon, and I also have some revives and potions, so I'm not overly concerned. In fact, when I talked about my items, I bought three. Why? What? Okay, because I think this... Huh? Dry skin, so water has no effect on it. I think Helioptile is electric type, so I don't know if that's neutral or if that's super effective. Uh, let's see what Fury Cutter does. Whipped up a whirlwind. So much for that. I was talking about something and I got distracted by a bunch of things happening at once because I tried to use the move. And I forgot what I was talking about. No, oh, yeah, when I went to go top up my items, I bought three super potions and a revive. I didn't really have to top up too much. I don't think I've actually had to use a revive so far this playthrough. I have used potions, obviously. I might have used a revive, like, outside of battle, maybe? But I honestly don't think I have. So I will give credit to to this game it's straightforward enough to the point where i don't have to keep running into the same battle over and over again yeah bite level 37 trying to learn takedown i am not going to learn that i don't even care what my other move set is i just don't want to learn takedown it's an okay move it's just got low accuracy and the power is okay but you also take recoil damage I would prefer Double Edge because it at least has really good strength and it's also got 100 accuracy. And this Fury Cutter should end the battle? Nope. And all of that increase just went out the drain. I think I can survive, assuming it's not a crit. Bruh. Super potion it is. Yeah, we get it. You have headbutt. Moo. Level up for Azumaro. Any moves? Aha, play rough. Relatively decent. It's a fairy type move. I guess some type attack bonus because I am part fairy type. Foe was roughed up by the user. This may lower the foe's attack. Not the greatest accuracy, but pretty decent power, and the chance to lower attack is also pretty nice. I get rid of Charm, because it effectively does the same thing. It drops the attack twice, but... Just one should be fine if I can deal some damage in the meantime. Congrats, partner. I still think that if we had been fighting for style points, I'd win that no problemo. Holy moly. Thought the format would trip you up some, but you sure showed me. I just ignored the entire format and just used fire and water type the entire time. I guess the badge is yours after all. One fall badge, compliment to Mel. Insert jinkly music here. With the fall badge, any Pokemon up to level 45 will obey you. It also allows you to move heavy boulders using strength. I don't rightly know why any strong Pokemon can't already do this. But that's just one of the weird ways the world works. A lot of W's there. Also take a TM. Containing Facade. 70 power goes up to 140 if you're paralyzed, poisoned, or burned. Which is kind of ironic because if you're burned, your attack gets lowered. So not really worth using Facade if you're burned. 
But let's get the hell out of this gym so I can listen to something besides the sound of my own voice. Ace! Just one quick word with you before you hightail it. Right before you arrived, I've been hearing some hubbub about some rascals stopping the townsfolk and epitome from exploring old Thundercat Mountain. Now I was thinking about laying down the law on them outlaws. Because not only do I look good, I do good too. And I do it while looking good. Shut up. Stop talking. <laughs> anyway, one of them said they were guarding the mountain to keep you out. Mentioned your name and everything. Now I don't really know what kind of hullabaloo you're mixed up in, but I'm going to help you fix it. So take this and get your high knee to epitome faster. Oh, that's actually quite useful. HMO to fly. Just like the other HMs, if you got a Pokemon that can learn it, you can use it. Just use a Pokemon that can learn it, and as long as it ain't got four HM moves learned already, that nifty doodad can take you anywhere you've been before. Anyway, don't keep me waiting too long, partner. You don't want to miss my fine and dandy work. Follow Mel to Epitome. I don't think I have a Pokemon that can actually learn that. I am curious to see... I haven't turned the music back on. I... Can anybody learn Facade? Everybody can learn Facade. Wonderful. As for Fly... Yeah. In fact, uh, the two Pokemon I have on my PC are Cryagonal and Snover. I don't think either one of them can learn it either. So, it looks like I got a little bit of work to do off-camera. Which, I'll do off-camera, obviously. I need the music. That is so much better. Anywho, now that we don't have a bunch of voices trying to speak to us while we're trying to talk ourselves, this is going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Got quite a bit of progress done in this one. Uh, next video, I'm going to probably talk to all these guys, see what they're all about, and then head off to Epitome Town after catching a flying kite. If you're liking the videos, feel free to drop a like or drop a dislike. If you want to leave a comment down below, feel free to do so, and subscribe if you want to catch more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care.